Here's a little item. It is Friday, so there's several um, less consequential things that I like to cover on a Friday. And this is when, remember Gretchen Carlson, who worked at the Fox Sewer for a while until she couldn't take it anymore? Uh, well, yesterday she was on CNN's um, program, Democracy in Peril. And she spoke about the current uh, condition of the Fox Sewer. Um, the first thing she talked about was the, the power that the little scum fucking Nazi Tucker Carlson seems to have over Republicans in Congress. And she was making reference to the people I was just talking about, those Christian fascists in Congress who have followed Tucker Carlson's lead and sided with authoritarian Russia in this conflict with Ukraine. And, and that's still, a, 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 I mean, it's not a surprise that <laughs> Tucker Carlson went to, where did he go to, uh, um, was it Austria? Where is uh, uh, Orban, the uh, dictator? Is that Austria or is that Hungary? I'm not thinking very clearly today. But Tucker Carlson has self-defined as a total fascist. There's no question about it. But Gretchen Carlson said that um, the, the hold that Tucker Carlson seems to have over certain fascist Christians in, in the Congress is the result of fake news. She said, quote, you know, we're seeing not only the fallout from fake news during the Trump era, but what happened with the insurrection on January 6th. Now it's moving into other areas, not just news. Now it's hitting science with the vaccine issues, and now it's into Cold War politics, end quote. And Carlson, on that program, she also brought up the fact that two of her former colleagues, uh, the idiotic Sean Hannity and the Nazi bitch Laura Ingram, sent texts to the White House during the insurrection, begging the orange vomit to stop the violence. But then these two scum on the, on, on the Fox tour went on air and put out a whole different narrative about the events of that day. You know, it's one thing to, to be a flat out fascist. At least you can identify your enemy, but to be somebody like this little prick, Sean Hannity or, or the crazy bitch, Laura Ingram, they're just two of, of, of many who, say one thing to get the viewers to incite bullshit. And, and on the other hand, secretively, quietly, they say, oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that, Mr. President. Come on now. You're going to fuck up the game. Come on. I've said so many times I hate cowardice, but I think mostly I hate hypocrisy. Carlson added this, quote, I think the bigger story coming out of that is how disingenuous it was to be sending those texts of warning while then going on the air to the American people and doing a complete injustice and disservice by saying something completely opposite and ginning up this whole reaction that it was just fine and patriotic for people to be there on January 6th, end quote. Yeah, those kinds, those are devils. I mean, Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson and, and Laura Ingram and the rest of these scum, they, they, these are not tricksters. They, these are not assholes. These are demons. These are people who, if, if you believed in, in demonic forces, this would be the personification of three demonic forces. That's how destructive these three are. And they do it for sport. Same reason Rush Limbaugh did this. Oh, he's still dead, by the way. They do it for sport because of their position, their financial, their uh, economic position, their position of power. They feel they're above it and immune from it, and they like to look down on us ants and watch us attack each other. All of these fuckers have wanted for their entire broadcast careers to incite race war, religious warfare. This is what they live for. And, of course, because it's the United States, we allow them to be on the air promoting their hate and their filth and their garbage into the airwaves every single day. Every single day. 
Uh, Gretchen Carlson then, uh, in this interview, she went on to lament the current state of her former network. She said this too, quote, slowly but surely, this has morphed into eradicating any other point of view since the Trump era that is not just opinion. It's gone, she's referring to her network, or the former, the Fox Sewer. It's gone from an opinion, which was fine, to completely devolving into non-fact-based conspiracy theories and outright dangerous rhetoric and I think it's a complete disservice to our country, end quote. Yeah, but Gretchen, come on. I mean, this is, uh, this is the capitalist point of view, and the capitalists don't give a fuck about niceties like democratic system or equal protection or equal justice or equal opportunity. That, that rhetorical bullshit means nothing to the capitalists. There's only one thing they care about, obviously, is... Well, as their name implies. Uh, Carlson spoke about the dangers of only watching one news source. (laughs) Well, I only watch, well, no, I watch several news sources, but I wouldn't go near with my eyes or my brain or or my temper anything remotely resembling resembling the Fox Sewer or Onan News or the rest of these uh, scum. But in that context, she was speaking about how she wishes more Republicans in power would speak out against some of the narratives pushed by the Fox sewer rather than submit to them. But what what Gretchen Carlson is assuming is that the fascist Christians, who she persists in calling Republicans, that the fascist Christians in Congress have the, the courage to do that. They don't. Not only are they lacking in courage, the fascist Christians, they, they work in lockstep. They're such cowards that they don't dare raise their head up where somebody might cut it off. That somebody being the gang at the Fox Sewer. There is one definable characteristic of, of fascist Christians that supersedes all others, and that is cowardice. Pure and simple cowardice. Anyway, Carlson then added this in the interview, quote, for the safety of the Republican Party and for our democracy, I wish more would speak out because this is not going to end well. It's really hard to change people's opinions because they're only watching what they want to hear. And that's the other problem that we have in society with the media right now is that we're so siloed into only watching what we agree with. And so every day, the thought process just gets reinforced time after time. End quote. Well, see, once again, that sounds to me like what about ism or on the other hand ism or but there's two points of view ism, all of which I find to be just bullshit. I mean, if somebody is telling me at high noon that it's midnight, I'm, uh, <laughs> am I supposed to say, okay, well, you certainly have a point of view, and let's discuss your point of view, even though it's broad daylight outside, and if you look up there, you see it, that's the sun. Well, don't look right at it, but that's the sun. So how could it be midnight if it's high noon? But the attitude from some of these people, of some of these people, including apparently Gretchen Carlson, is that we should, we should listen to the people that say, well, oh, okay, it's your opinion that it's high noon, but there's also my opinion that it's actually midnight. And this is America, so I have a right to my opinion. <laughs> yes, you do. You certainly do. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. 
And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.